I'm sure some of you are wondering out there, what's it like driving an Allison swapped Cummins? Normal, mostly. I have to do a little bit more just because my transmission and the ECM don't talk to each other. For the most part, I can just drive it with a throttle or if I can't, I can go to manual. 40 miles an hour, fourth gear. It upshifts at about 2,000 RPM and it downshifts at about 1,000. The downshift is where I'm not in love with it. I wish it would downshift at about 1,400. So here we go, coming up to a stop. Exhaust brake is on. And I'm barely touching my brake. So it's actually doing most of the work. Some of the shifts are a little bit hard, but I didn't pay for an easy shifting transmission. I knew about that ahead of time. And my understanding is the harder shifts are easier on the transmission. I don't know anything about transmissions though. So see right here, it's not gonna shift until I get it at 2000. And honestly, I don't want it to shift because it will immediately downshift because I've got a curve coming up and a hill and all that. So all I got to do is just drive with the throttle, which means occasionally on a road like this, my speed will go up and down. And that's not awful. So it's not 100% perfect. It's not like it's a stock transmission that just does everything absolutely perfect. But honestly, I don't like the way the stock transmission shifted. I've rarely found an automatic that I like the way it shifts because I'm a manual driver. I like my stick shifts. So any automatic for me is a compromise. Because if I was in a stick, I would have already upshifted but then I would downshift before I hit the hill. Automatic can't do that. So here we go, going into a curve. I've got a curve up ahead. I've let it go to fifth gear. So you'll see how it downshifts. So if I were to hold it, I could actually hold it at 1100 RPM, 1200 is what it is now. There's 11, I can hold it there. I don't want to. So I'll let it speed drop a little bit more and let it downshift. Probably also curious how it gets on the interstate. The roads are wet, so I've got to take it easy. That's a bumpy on ramp. Just like that. And then I'm 373 gears, so I don't hit six gear until 73. There it is. 75, still under 2000 RPM. Stuck behind a semi, so I'm only going 65, but here's how it slows down from the interstate. No throttle, no brake. I'm going up a hill, and I actually have to give it gas. Right there, I've given it throttle. So I can continue making it up, because the exhaust brake actually works. Here it is at the other most common speed, 60 miles an hour. So I'm fifth gear, right about 1500 RPM. And if you're wondering about the light that says check gauges, it has nothing to do with the transmission. It has to do with my PCM taking a dump, not telling the alternator to charge, and running an external voltage regulator. Now the PCM's unhappy. I don't care. Noticeable differences between the 68 
and this Allison. My torque converter is a whole lot more powerful. My 68 was so bad that pulling my old boat up a ramp, I was running about 2,000 RPM just to get it moving. That, that doesn't work for me. With this one, I was pulling a 14,000 pound dump trailer up my driveway, which is fairly steep. I was maybe 1,500 before it started moving and it was fully loaded with dirt. So, I mean, it was pretty heavy. With the Allison, my torque converter locks up at about 25-ish miles an hour. It's halfway through second gear. The 68 locks up in fourth gear. So you've got the rest of second and all of third that the Allison is locked up. And if you're driving through town or whatever like that, then you're gonna be in lockup mode instead of slipping like crazy. That's one of my most favorite things about it. Um, the other thing, I've got my truck retuned so it thinks it's a manual. That lets me have the full exhaust brake because the 68 cannot handle the full exhaust brake. If you've got a manual, or I believe even the Eisen, you've got the full exhaust brake. With the 68, you do not. You have about half. So once I switched this over to a manual, then, I mean, it was like, it went from my foot like barely touching the brake as, the, as that's how powerful the exhaust brake was, to actually feeling me lurch forward. Overall, I'm very happy with this transmission. I went with an automatic so that as we take long trips with my truck, my wife can drive some. If y'all watched the video where my wife and I went to Florida and got my 26 foot boat, the Allison was not working 100% there. I found out after that trip that my, for lack of a better term, my translator box, it's a CA box that translates my throttle position from the Dodge throttle position to the GM throttle position for the Allison had died. So because it died, I was not getting any lockup. I brought that boat home with an unlocked torque converter and I pulled over a mountain twice. Things got a little warm, but no permanent damage has been done. Transmission fluid still looks fine. Honestly, I'd be willing to bet the Allison still ran cooler than my 545 RFE and my 07 Hemi. This transmission rocks. I know all of you who wanna knock it and say the 68 is the best transmission in the world. You just have to build it. It's fine, go build your 68. This Allison swap is not for everybody. I'm not sitting here saying it is for everybody. This is a big intensive swap and it's just different. It's not 100% stock. It's not like I can take it to a Dodge dealer and say, hey, fix this. I have a weird mix of parts in there. I mean, I have a, a Ford 7.3 fan clutch because I've swapped that from the stupid electromechanical thing. I've got this, which uses the Ford 6.0 starter because it's on the other side. So there's a lot of stuff that's changed. This is not for everybody. But if you're interested in this, contact CA Conversions. I'll answer as many questions as I can. You'll get my opinion of it. You'll get my experiences with it. CA can give you exact details for your vehicle. I can tell you how this works in my 08. That's it. I've had the most comments on this, so I figured I'd make a follow-up video for a lot of you guys asking, you know, years later how I like it. I've had some guys ask me to, you know, drive around with it and make some videos. Hopefully this helps in your search for what mod you want to do next. Thank you all for watching. If you're still here to the end, I really appreciate it. See y'all.